In my previous video, I showed you how to create a screen tutorial using application Simple Screen Recorder. This is the easiest and the fastest way to set up everything and record a screen tutorial. It does not require a lot of knowledge and time. But unfortunately, it does not produce very good audio quality unless you have very very good microphone. That's why I showed you how to process your audio with Audacity. Audacity can greatly improve your audio. But it takes a lot of time to process audio. And Simple Screen Recorder does not give a webcam view, so you need to use another application if you also want to show your face on the screen, as I show it right here, as you can see. So in this video, I will show you what I'm using right now. So in the past, I was using Simple Screen Recorder with Audacity, and I also used GUVC View application to record my uh, face. But in my recent tutorials, I switched to OBS Studio, which I think is the best application to record screen tutorials because it allows you to do everything in one application at the same time and it saves a lot of time. But unfortunately, it requires little more knowledge on how to set up and how to use it. Let me quickly show you how I use it. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the setup from the very beginning because I have already everything pre-configured here and I use OBS Studio to record this tutorial. But I will quickly go through all the settings which I use in my setup and if you do the same settings for your OBS Studio, you will be able to get similar effect as I have on this video as you can see. So when you open OBS Studio, you don't have any sources here. Everything is empty if I'm right. So you just need to click on this plus button and start adding devices here. And you can see which devices I have added. For example, the very background layer is a color source and I use it in case if I just need to record my face. For example, if I disable my desktop view, you will see the background color, which is this uh, green color. It is very useful because I want to record only my face with webcam and then I can import this video to KDN Live and I can use a green screen filter which will remove this green color and everything what is green here will be transparent. This is very simple way to get just the face view and then I can place any image on the background in editing. But most of the cases I use my screen capture device here which is capturing my desktop view. And you can edit here if you click on this plus button then you just go to screen capture and you select your screen. In my case, I have only one screen. So if I go to properties, you will see I have only one screen here, but you may have several screens. So you select which one you want to capture. I also enable capture my cursor, but if you don't want to capture your cursor, you can disable this option. So this is also very simple. You can just add your screen capture and you can already record your desktop, but you also need to record your audio and video, for example, if you want to also have your face here. For example, this video capture device is my webcam, which is located here. I can resize this webcam and do some settings. Again, you can edit here with the plus button, but let me show you how to, how I pre-configured it here. Everything is set by default here. I just selected my webcam here, changed a bit the resolution. I have not applied any filters here. As you can see, everything is set to default. The only setting which I have changed is the zoom because it's a widescreen camera. So to make me look a little bit closer to you, I have zoomed to 120 here. The rest is by default. And the last two devices is just uh, my microphone, which is this audio capture device. If I go to properties, you can see it is Samsung Go mic with uh, 48,000 uh, uh, recording rate. And this is the most complicated part of this setup because I have applied a lot of filters here. If I right click on this device and go to filters, you will see I have applied noise suppression and I had to use actually two filters to remove all the noise because for some reason one filter did not work very well. I also apply compressor, which I have explained in my Audacity video. I'm not an expert on this audio editing, so it was mostly tries and errors. I also have gain because after compressor and noise reduction, the sound was a bit low. So I increased to make it a little bit louder. And finally, I set a limiter. So in case if I speak too loud, it will try to clip it a bit. So you can see the limiter is set here. But the main idea is when you speak that this uh, line should not reach the very end. It should be somewhere like at the right part here. What it does, it just processes my audio as I record it. 
saves a lot of time because I don't need to use Audacity. I would not say that the sound quality is better, with Audacity I usually get much better sound quality, but I save so much time that I don't need to edit audio for every of my video, so that's why I switched to this solution. I think it's fine if my sound is not perfect, but I make more videos, isn't it, right? And the last device is to capture desktop sounds. For example, in my previous videos, I played you my screen recording video and you could hear the sound and you could hear it because it was uh, captured with this device. Again, you press on this plus button and add capture device. And just in the capture device, you need to select your speakers. So in my case, I have two speakers here, headphones and speakers. So I set up this uh, as my speakers here. So these are the simple settings which you can use. So for now, it works the best for me. If you expert in OBS, please let me know what I can improve because I'm still learning. And if you have never used OBS, I think this video will help you to start. But if you're a bit scared of all of these settings, remember you can use simple screen recorder. That is the simplest and easiest solution to get going and start making YouTube videos on Linux. Don't forget to subscribe. There are more interesting tutorials coming up and activate the bell notification because there are so many videos published every day. So you may miss some interesting videos from my channel. If you want to watch some good tutorials, activate the bell notification. Thank you for watching. Thank you.